World of Dentistry Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs Tooth Infections Spreading to the Bone Hello everyone! Today we will talk about a very important topic, dental infections that spread to the bone and their possible danger. It is critical to be informed of the causes, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of this condition, as it can endanger our health and even our lives. Causes of a dental infection. An increase in bacteria may cause a dental infection for a variety of reasons, including advanced tooth decay, fractured or cracked teeth, gum disease, a dental trauma, a tooth extraction, and dental implants. In addition, some conditions can be triggers for dental infections, such as poor dental hygiene, a diet high in sugar, dry mouth, smoking, and a weakened immune system. Signs and Symptoms of an Infection The most common symptoms of a dental infection are tooth sensitivity, an unpleasant smell and taste, severe throbbing pain, facial swelling, red gums, fever, and fistula. If the infection spreads to the bone or other parts of the body, the symptoms may include malaise, fatigue, earaches and headaches, dizziness and lightheadedness, fever, sweating or chills, severe swelling of the face, vomiting and abdominal pain, increased heart rate, increased respiratory rate, and dehydration. Diagnosis and treatment of a dental infection that spreads to the bone. The dentist will first perform a clinical exam and ask about your symptoms. X-rays may be done to determine the extent of the infection and to identify possible areas of bone damage. Treatment for a dental infection that is spreading to the bone will depend upon the severity of the infection and the extent of bone damage. Common treatments include antibiotics, if the infection hasn't spread too far and the bone hasn't been damaged, you may need a course of antibiotics to clear up the infection. Root canal treatment. If the infection has spread to the dental pulp, root canal treatment may be called for. Tooth extraction. If the infection has severely damaged the tooth and surrounding bone, the dentist may need to remove the infected tooth. Surgery. In severe cases of infection, surgery may be necessary to remove the infected tissue and repair the damaged bone. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.